Picture this. You're living a calm life in a suburban neighborhood. Everything is nice and fine, and life is great. And then, out of nowhere, Mickey Mouse, Goku, Ben 10, Captain America, Popeye, and several other bootleg versions of famous characters show up on your street and start twerking around. What the heck is going on? Well, prepare to meet the Hurricane Truck. Hi, I'm Dan, and welcome to Brazil 101. Today we're going to talk about one of the weirdest forms of popular entertainment ever to come out of a small town in Brazil. By the way, if you want to, you can watch this video with subtitles in either English or Portuguese by clicking here. Carreta Furacão, roughly translated from Portuguese as Hurricane Truck, is a type of entertainment business that became quite popular in the second half of the 2000s. The basic idea here is that of a truck or a train-type wagon vehicle that takes people for a spin around town playing music and serving them drinks. But the icing on the cake is definitely the dancers. But how exactly did this thing come to be? Where does it come from? Well, the origins of this kind of entertainment can be traced back to the 1950s in the Sao Paulo state area. At the time, some people decided to create a wagon train type vehicle with the purpose of driving kids around parks and public areas in the city. As time went by, other wagon trains started to show up, and as a marketing tool to attract the kids and get more customers, some of these wagons started to include people dressed up as popular cartoon characters and playing popular tunes. This kind of business was always considered a kind of underground type of entertainment. Until the late 2000s, where, thanks to the internet, these guys got back to popularity. It got to a point where these trucks were not just for children anymore. Many of them started taking adults for a spin around the town, serving alcohol and playing nightclub tunes. As this concept gained popularity, many other wagon dancer businesses began to pop up, leading to some problems. Stuff like traffic jams and disturbing the public order by performing at funeral parlors. Even worse, the dancers often try to compete with each other by performing bolder and riskier moves than the other guy. The result? Accidents. A lot of accidents. Actually, some serious accidents. People have ended up hospitalized and some have even died because of this. Yeah, I know. Yikes. But leaving those things aside, my favorite part of all this is the dance-offs. If one wagon meets a rival wagon on the streets, there's gonna be a dance-off. The dancers on the wagons get all fired up and try to outperform each other, and sometimes it even escalates to a full-blown fist fight. Can you imagine a Goku roundhouse kicking Pikachu in the face? Or a Popeye uppercutting a Captain America? It's the ultimate showdown. I know it's wrong, but I'm willing to pay good money to see it. But why are they popular? Why has this become a trend with so many views on the internet? While researching for this video, I ended up watching a number of React videos, where people all around the globe watch these guys dancing and try to explain why they think these guys are popular here. And all of them get it wrong. See, the problem is that they all seem to really think that these guys are like actual celebrities here. That we look at them with admiration, or that a kid might aspire to become a cajeta dancer when they grow up. And nobody does that. There are several reasons for someone or something to become popular in Brazil, and we will talk about those in other videos. But in this particular case, we like these guys precisely because they are bad. Yes, that's what I said. We like it because it's bad. Take the costumes at Disney World, for example. They are so well-made, detail-rich, and aiming for perfection. They do this in order to immerse you in the Disney universe, to make you feel like you are in their world. And the result is quite impressive. And Cajeta Furacão is definitely not like that. It's actually the total opposite of that. And that's part of why we enjoy seeing this. It's funny. We know what the characters are supposed to look like, and how they're supposed to behave. And to see that this is what they came up with, is hilarious. Maybe you've seen and had a good laugh at this kind of thing on the internet before, like a bootleg toy or a shoddy tattoo or artwork. It's the same thing with Cajeta Furacão. These guys are really good dancers, and this is an honest and fair way to make a living. But it's funny to see how crappy the costumes are, how different they are from the original characters, and the absolute randomness of seeing superheroes and cartoon characters dancing to some funky beats. And that's one of our characteristics as Brazilians. We don't need something to be perfect in order to enjoy it. We can have a lot of fun just with these second-rate knockoffs. And even when we fail to achieve perfection, 
instead of feeling ashamed, we can just have a good laugh at it. Except for that one time that some genius had the bright idea of inviting a Carreta Furacão to perform during a political demonstration. Bringing in those guys for something as serious as this is something we should be ashamed of. Thank you for watching this video. Brazil 101 is a new project that makes videos on all things Brazil and tries to explain to you things about our country and our culture that foreigners usually don't quite get. We hope you will like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment telling us what else you would like to understand more about Brazil. I might, even when this is all over, go dancing. Then what are we waiting for? The right partner. Ziggy, ziggy, don't. Ziggy, ziggy, don't. Ziggy, ziggy, don't. Ziggy, ziggy, don't.